name is Joey Ernie Chips Douglas, but my friends just call me Joe. I am what you might call a cinephile. I know the classics like the backs of my hands. I'm the real deal VHS expert. Science fiction, fantasy, comedy, thriller, and horror. Nothing gets past me. I've got the biggest VHS collection in all of Wyoming. I'm pretty proud of that fact. I record every program running on the cable night and day, to the point where my grandma calls me the cable guy. All was well in my life until that night in August 1994. It was a Thursday, I think. I was finishing for the third time that afternoon the excellent Space Vampires vs. Zombie Dinosaurs in color, and I noted all the best quotes in my journal. When my VCR, a dependable and sturdy JVCC BP-5000, began messing up out of the blue. The image off and on, disgusting sound, and glitches all around. I knew I had to act on it, and fast. I knew of only one person who could help me at this time of night. Mr. Wing, the old sketchy Chinese owner of the local corner hardware store. This is precisely the time that my problems really began. He saw the panic and fear in my eye, and ended up selling me a VCR cleaning cassette. It wasn't easy and it required that I guarantee that I follow a few rules of usage before. What a strange object it was, the VCR cleaner, complete with a huge, thick user's manual in a strange language I didn't understand. Some sort of Dutch or something. Inside it contained a list of crucial precautions to follow, such as never expose the VHS to sunlight, don't get it wet, never insert it into the VCR after midnight. I had the impression that I'd bought a mogwai, but bullshit. The geezer must have been starting to get senile. <laughs> but I should have listened. I should have heeded his warnings, because now I'm in deep shit. Since I inserted this cursed VHS in my JVCC, it would seem as if a group of stupid aliens took control of it. I, I have a hard time believing, a hard time convincing myself I've not gone completely crazy. I don't know where this cleaning cassette came from, and there's no way to contact the old Chinese guy. He seems to have disappeared. I'm scared to talk to anyone about this. The police, they don't know anything. My grandma, she's faint of heart. The FBI, I have too many illegal recordings at home. In the meantime, until I find a solution, I'm condemned to spend my days with them. Luckily, they don't seem too malicious. Pretty annoying, but certainly not evil. They spend their time ruining my favorite movies. I've thought about it, and the only hope left is finding the VHS that will reduce them to nothing. A monster movie, a disaster movie, anything dangerous. I have no choice. Salut à tous, on se fait une petite session à part de Darksiders, une petite parenthèse sur un jeu indé, Epicloon, découvert, euh, découvert au Stunfest à, en mai, et euh, jeu sympa à jouer vraiment en, entre potes, et, enfin entre amis, c'est vraiment fandard, et euh, donc vous avez les, c'est tout ça, vous venez de voir l'intro du jeu, l'ambiance, et euh, vous avez plein de petits niveaux, du coup basés sur différents, euh, différents films, donc, les noms ne sont pas euh, sans doute. On les voit pas, mais on sent nettement la grosse influence euh, originale. Et les idées qui viennent avec, pas mal d'éléments dans le décor pour ce, euh, ce type. Donc le mode battle, si vous êtes entre potes, en famille, c'est génial. Et le mode histoire, donc mode histoire. Fuck you, Mr. Voilà, Fox. vous avez les persos. Donc moi j'ai déjà commencé, donc j'ai déjà réussi à. J'ai déjà eu le skin Dracula. Donc là je vais le refaire avec vous. Les autres je vais le faire directement. On les découvrira ensemble. Voilà, et c'est fixe, donc on commence le jeu, donc là ce sera contre les IA et les différents scénarios, donc vous avez Nosferatula, pour Nosferatu, Jurassic Land, on se demande vraiment les... tout ça vient, Progera et Alien. Donc c'est quatre films, peut-être plus, je ne sais pas, il y a des choses qui peuvent se débloquer dans le, dans le jeu, on va le découvrir au fur et à mesure. Donc voilà, allez, c'est parti, à plus. Enfin, à plus, non, même pas. Dead, pointy teeth, haunted castle. This guy doesn't play around. <laughs> Perfect to get rid of. <laughs> This is.
is one of the best vampire movies ever. So charismatic, dude. Unpredictable. It begins in a train, if I remember correctly. Something about a notary clerk going to Transylvania. Never really got the plot. Anyway, this Nosferacula guy's gonna wipe you out! I used to be extremely powerful, hypnotizing entire crowds of people, turning into all sorts of animals, having sex with 20 women at the same time. They even called me the Impaler, to which I say, up yours. Nowadays I'm sick of this country. Sick of not inspiring fear anymore. Sick of it all, really. They needed to see new faces. To taste new blood types. That's why after many years of mulling to her, I decided to invest in British real estate. Step one, invite a young idiot dandy to my house and feign interest in some random properties in London. Step two, get some chicks. Step three, we'll see about that later. But for the moment, let's play with this notary clerk who just got on my tour.
Mr. Harper, I presume. Welcome to Transylvania. Come closer, I won't buy. Can you feel this? Je ne sais quoi in the air tonight. A feeling in your gut, perhaps. Do you not feel just so at home here, like you may never leave? Nothing, John Harper. You don't know why I want to come to England? You don't know who I really am? You don't even know where you will spend the rest of your life? You don't even know I'm talking to myself right now? Later, that never works. Ugh. Welcome, welcome to my humble abode.
This is my favorite part of the movie. The guy just enters the castle and gets raped. Literally. Hello, ladies. Make yourself at home, Mr. Hartwell. What an exhausting trip this must have been. Let's have a proper dinner, shall we? Carfax Abbey is mine. And I've left that idiot Harper to rot behind these walls. But alas, the hardest part is still ahead. To cross the sea, the hate boats. And pass the customs in my coffin. <laughs>
butter, batter, stalker. It's time to relax. A glass of wine, your favorite easy chair. So go on, indulge yourself. Kick off your shoes, put your feet up, lean back, and just enjoy the movies.
It's only the halfway mark in the movie. Now Nosferacula is heading to London. Black Plague, rats, and a very, very angry vampire on the ship. You don't stand a chance. They hate boats. They hate the sea. They hate sailors. And less but not least, I hate their stupid fucking drinking songs. Luckily, it won't be long before we dock on English shores. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control, and I think I like it. What will we do with the drunken sailor? Shave his belly with a rusty razor? What a jolly good idea.
Jackson. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. What will we do with the drunken sailor, sheath his belly with a rusty razor? Listen to them, children of the night. What music they make. Kiss me fat boy! <laughs> <laughs> 